Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. Going to do another solo Nightfall run through, this time with my Warlock. We are doing the Cerebus of A strike against Valus Tarek in the end. Modifiers are Berserk, minions will not flinch. Brawler, you can punch like crazy, just don't punch the shields, doesn't do any good. You got fresh troops, enemy squads have been fortified, you're likely to see more taken, a few more majors, things like that. And of course Airborne, if you're in the air, you deal more damage. Warlocks have a nice advantage in that department, especially if you run Sunsinger, you've got Angel of Light. So if you aim your weapon in the air, you'll be held in air, so you get that bonus damage pretty much all the time. Other nice things, if you fire a rocket, hold up in the air, and then at least hover before and be in the air before that rocket hits, you'll get the nice bonus damage there as well. Reason for that, that's why I'm running Galahorn again. Definitely pretty much the only way to go right now. Airborne, shoot this thing up in the air, hover in the air when everything hits, you get a nice little bonus damage. Got a sniper rifle. I've got icebreaker if I run out of ammo, but for now, just gonna stick with my Irene RR4. It's a sniper from the gunsmith, in case you guys are wondering. And pulling out the good old hung jury again. Seems to be pretty efficient. Need all the uh, ammo and damage I can get, so may as well be efficient with it. Running hard of the Praxic Fire just for a few more grenades. May as well make it worthwhile. And pretty standard build otherwise. Nothing too crazy there. Um, if you got sniper ammo and rocket ammo on your chest and boots, may as well use it. Other than that, guys, let's jump right in, and I'll see you on the other side. Let's find access to their Alright guys, so as soon as you load in, jump on that sparrow and run over here. You want to get over here as quick as you can, kick this thing off. Might have some enemies in here, you may or may not, just don't know if you can drive through one of them. Throw a grenade, maybe keep them occupied. What you want to do is just come over to this ter ter terminal, kick off your ghost, and then try not to take too much of a beating as you sit here and take the... Take the punches. If you got some enemies to kill quickly, go for it. It's a nice way to get a few extra points. But if you don't, no big deal. As you come around this corner, just be careful. You might have some big boys coming at you. Sometimes there's a Colossus around that corner there. He's worth like a thousand points. If you can kill him quick, great. If not, again, not a big deal. And again, here's the uh, Angel of Light perk, so I can just hover in the air, aim, fire, and drop down. What's up, Cryptic? Joining me in the stream. If you guys do ever see uh, see me on Twitch as well, just twitch.tv slash ebontis. I'll be out there usually streaming these and any other game that I'm playing. I'm streaming most things that I play anymore. May as well let you guys enjoy it. For the sake of speed, as I do see a heavy ammo crate out there, I'm going to go ahead and use a heavy ammo synth here. And at least enjoy blowing up a few people. So, it's a quick way to kill quite a few of them, especially those majors go down really quickly right now. You can have a few enemies off to your left over here as well. So enjoy the uh, damage in the air. If you can throw a grenade over there, it's always a nice thing to sit there and cook him down. He'll be on fire and you also got a Centurion in the back. Get some nice bonus damage while I'm hovering in the air. Now again, may as well run up here, so just to make the most quickest use of my time. Got a Centurion up here. And taking quite the beating there, but if you hover up in the air, you'll probably get most of those guys taken out. Get some nice quick points, take out the Centurion. He is down, and we're down to the last few guys. Now go pick up the Heavy Synth and be good to go. You throw a grenade over there, might be able to cook a few of these guys. Remember, Flame Shield for the win. And you got Brawler working too. And be careful you don't die, it's not a great time to come in here and die. These guys should go down fairly quickly though. And I can grab my heavy synth and move on. I wouldn't waste too long in here, but if you can clear out most of the room, it's going to make things a little bit easier. Less things firing at you as you're trying to run along. But what you want to do is come up here and look at that door in the back and make sure it is blue. If it is blue, you're in pretty good shape. And again, taking out that Colossus with the airborne perk is always the way to do it. What you want to do is just get to the door, see if you can take anything out. Hide behind cover here real quick. And then once the door is open, move on away. Running this one with the Warlock this morning, so perk of radiance. If I do die, just come back and throw more grenades. Woo! <laughs> you do want to have your Galahorn out down here, reloaded as you come around this corner. You want to take this Blight out if you've got taken pretty much as soon as possible, and it sounds like I do. Take that Blight out, and then try and jump in the air if you can. Again, get those airborne shots. It's going to be a nice little bonus to your damage, and also taking this guy out just that much quicker. If you can get a grenade on him, that'll be a nice little way to keep his shield down. Any grenade that's going to take his health down, keep him burning. He is a bit rough, but if you can take him out, this is kind of your main anguish for the start. 
big thing you want to make sure oh really you're not dead now you're dead what you really do want to make sure and do is take out that blight quickly otherwise it's going to keep spawning enemies and just make this take a little longer now if you're back here and you want to pick off some of these guys um, the hobgoblins should not be able to tag you from here so that's a nice thing if you do kill them not the end of the world you should be able to manage them and their little triple shot that comes out when they die you're just out of range which is also a nice little bonus now that one may be close enough you might want to strafe a little bit yep you got the guys up top you got a goblin who's doing the shielding so you can take him out and hit him from that far probably got a couple other hobgoblins down here I know we do yep there they are just keep strafing as you're hitting and then finally we got the last big guy in the back and again just keep strafing as you're shooting him hide behind a rock something to just kind of make this a reasonable takedown he's not hiding the entire time like a jerk come on there you go I'll just hide behind a rock wait for those double shots to come out and make sure you got everybody down you gotta come up in here and activate this little terminal so fly on up see what ammo you get as soon as you deploy your ghost though I would retreat back to that doorway that you came into the area in gonna make life a little bit easier as the champions come in try not to run through the blights if you can help it and then retreat back and you should be able to work them from back there now you're gonna have a couple of these hobgoblins again as they're as they're coming at you again make sure and try and dodge their initial shots and then you can start picking these guys off from far away now these scions are going to be a bit of a pain in your butt if you can at least take out the majors that'll save you some time because those majors do tend to get a little annoying and these guys over here just hide behind the rocks as they send their final shots out or at least strafe when it happens so you don't have to worry about it as much now I've got my gal horn up but I'm trying to save those rockets at this point it's probably going to take me a few minutes to get through here but to speed things along try and target one of them jump up in the air and then when that bonus damage goes, well, there's a couple medals and sprees and kills and lots of things happening. Now, at this point, you're going to have some uh, minotaurs coming out, but they are stealth. So you want to tag them in the head, try and knock their stealth off. As soon as you knock it off, should be going down pretty quickly. Again, just scout rifle. Pretty standard primary damage. They're not like majors or anything, so they should go down. Once two of them are down, realize you're not done, you're going to have a couple more. Now, if they're coming in a little late, which is unfortunate, that could be the case. So watch out for the minotaurs, they are still coming up. Got a couple goblins as well, so be careful about those. The minotaurs are the ones that you do want to watch out for. You're going to have a little bit of a nice little power shot there. You take them out quick, you got to hide back here. Why? One of the reasons I tell you to come back here. It's a little safer place to fight from. You got to hide, this is trouble. Now I wouldn't really punch a minotaur normally, but at least that airborne bonus is a little, little bigger than before. Uh, see if you got anything out there straggling. Looks like I've got one goblin over here. Last thing that's really going to spawn is going to be um, basically a couple centurions in the middle. So that's one thing you do want to pull out the rocket launcher for. Take them out pretty quickly. These guys out in the middle. If you can get them all tagged at about the same time, jump up in the air. Should be a way to take a good chunk of them out pretty speedily. And again, you want to try and take this guy out up in the air before he really gets too far away because if you can kill him before everything goes into hiding you'll be in decent shape to speed through this section and you'll just be looking for the last looks like I've got the last major here it's gonna be that goblin you want to take him out that's gonna be the fourth one you are gonna have a sniper up on top so just watch for him pick him off make sure you uh, dodge that final shot at this point we've got the anomaly since we're going taken unfortunately no tank this morning so we do have the taken version um, so avoid the blights what you want to do is jump on your sparrow you got any ammo around here great to pick up I'm pretty good on sniper at this point ride your sparrow down around this right side because it's easier to come up the left so you can literally just drive through and do a circle and then come back up as the blights are spawning and get back up out here into reasonable safety and get up where I'm gonna work this guy down so what you want to do come up here and destroy the taken gate lord there's gonna be an enemy that spawns here occasionally right here that's what I was waiting for you jump and punch him he'll go down really fast and then you can come down here just listen for those cues that he's gonna be spawning so there's the soul progeny if you can do anything to keep his shield down make it a little easier to find his crit spot a grenade is gonna work pretty well whatever you can do though now again I can hover and get the bonus damage so he should go down quicker a little harder to do that but listen for those audio cues when that enemy is gonna spawn behind you pretty much coming up soon I think anyway now I can still see. Nope, here he comes. 
And again, just jump and punch and you're doing alright. It's occasional way to get some nice ammo as well. Now that's why I do like this one. I've got, uh, you coming behind? So now you've got more enemies coming in. Try and throw a grenade down there just so I can see him. And again, that hovering in the air, always a nice way to get those bonus damage shots. Now I've probably got that hobgoblin coming up behind me here shortly. Make sure everything's kind of nice and reloaded. Now one thing you can do, of course, jump up in the air, if he's spawning. Smash him in the head, see if you get any ammo. And then time to go rocket fun, may as well do it. Should be a quick way to finish things. Once he's down, everything goes away, and you're in good shape. Now, that Minotaur will actually use up your three of coins, so keep that one in mind. you got to pop another one. So may as well do that now before we get into the boss area. Jump on your Sparrow, and re we can ride all the way. None of the other enemies matter. See if you get any ammo, which I actually did, which is nice. And then we just run on through. 20 minutes, not too shabby. Now I'm going to try a different method today on my Warlock. Um, pretty much just going to go up in the chandelier so I can continually attack him as opposed to just hiding in the box. Uh, there's no burn, so you should be able to survive. And with Radiance, I should be able to pop up if I need to, which is nice. Um, and that way I can at least just continually fire at him and just keep the damage going for speed more than anything else. Going for time. I think at 9 minutes I had a pretty good damage bonus, uh, or point bonus, I think. It's when I finished my last one. So what you want to do is try and come up here. This Colossus is going to be sitting right here, but if you can ride the corner, come through here and just get that one little shift with your Sparrow, any of these should drive through here pretty quickly. Now this next section you can speed through if you want to. If you have a heavy ammo box like I do there, you can of course, uh, well, if you got uh, the joys of a couple of Vandals up here, it's going to be a bit dicier. Yeah, these are going to be fun. Now, again, they do tend to love their shields, so if they're in their shield, you can jump in, try and punch them a little bit. I wouldn't advise that normally, but it can be a fairly effective method. Now, here you can have a whole lot of things fighting each other, which is kind of crazy sometimes. Watch out for those stupid centaurs, or, yeah, centurions. Now, you're going to have the enemies down below as well, throwing a grenade down there to get the ball rolling. And again, just trying to work them down. I've got a heavy ammo crate that I can go pick up. Now the shield guys, I haven't seen as many of those, but don't forget those are not going to drop their... Uh, drop their shields because of Berserk. But what you can do to finish these guys off, hover up in the air, use that uh, last Gallahorn rocket, and then I've got a heavy synth box down below. I am spending some time in this area as opposed to trying to go down below and skip everything because it is nice to get some points, so if you need to go a little slower in the boss room, you can. Now I'm going to jump down, go grab my heavy ammo box, and if there's anybody else waiting for me, I'll tag them on the way out. Now it looks like I've got this dude down here, last one waiting for me. And let's see who's around the corner. Looks like I've got a couple phalanx over here. Just a tortured one, but he'll be worth a few extra points. Now he puts a shield up and keeps shooting him in the legs until he teleports out of your view. And then finish him. See, 500 points, not too shabby. Get me a little ammo. So, finally, once you come in this last room, before you really get moving, stay here for a second, get your health back up, because you're going to have a few enemies to kill, and then you've got to move somewhat quickly. So, what you want to do is go to the top, to the chandelier. You want to go full agility at this point, so speed and raw speed. And you want to make sure you get... Um, basically, balance glide is going to get you the height that you need. But you got to do this part rather quickly. So find the couple enemies that are in here. Looks like I've got one Centurion instead of... Now, yeah, I've got Taken in this room, which is a little different. So look for the Taken as the boss is coming in. Taken shouldn't be in the whole time. Uh, but what you really want to do is as he comes in, you want to run up top, get up here to this little platform, land over here on this little ledge, and you got to do this kind of quick. So come up here on this little platform, get as high as you can, and then you want to jump up top and land up here. If you have the high agility, you should be able to get up here no problem. And you just sit here and work him pretty much the entire time. So now if I crouch down, I can see when that grenade's gonna actually do some damage to him, which I am doing now. And you can literally set up here with a primary, 
and if you stay out of range now he's going to shoot rockets occasionally from up here which is going to be one thing you do on a dodge and you're going to be taking some damage up here but at least you can work him down fairly quickly i got sniper i can sit here and just work him from here now those are the rockets now the nice thing about the chandelier is if you shoot him between the little shelves here should have a decent blocking area um, so just keep that in mind. The rockets are still going to come up here, tag you occasionally. If you get low on health, just duck down in the middle. You should be fairly safe. And this sniper is pretty effective for the, this situation. And again, I am crouched most of the time on the outer edge of the chandelier. I can stand up, but over here in the middle, you're going to be pretty stationary, locked in. So just keep that in mind. You're not completely 100% safe up here, so you are going to take a little bit of damage. But as he passes through, it's just one way you can manage this. So... Especially with something like Triple Tap on a Scout Rifle. You can get a lot of damage. Uh, Ex Machina would be a great one here, actually, because you're going to be really ammo efficient. Now, at this point, the rockets are going to be underneath, and he's walking straight below me. So if you find some enemies that you do want to try and take out, you can. Uh, just pop a few of them in the head. That way you have less enemies shooting at you. Now, what you're really going to be looking for is trying to get some shots into him. So when he runs to the other side, what I would do, but most likely, is get up here and stand up. Try and jump in if you can, but try and duck below the rockets. Pretty much you're just trying to get to where you can get that rocket on him, but make sure you don't... Um, make sure you're not standing up too much when he fires those rockets that he's got, because they're going to be quite the beating. As you can see there, i got to get my health back for a minute. Wait for a second. Come back up here. And then crouch back down. Now, I'm not getting the airborne bonus because I'm up here, but I am pretty safe and able to do this occasionally. Now, if I crouch, crouch back when that thing hits, I'll get a nice little bonus. Now, there's a lot of things shooting me from many directions at this point. So, I really would kind of try and be careful at this point. Uh, try and take a second, shoot a few of the guys, crouch down, see what's around you. Uh, you're going to have things in pretty much lots of angles shooting you from down below. If you can get a grenade out, sometimes you're lucky enough to get one through those little cracks. Sometimes you'll throw it right in front of you. So, depending on what class you are and if you're up here, just be careful. Now the boss is what looks to be back over here, which is fine. Pretty much just on primary at this point. So, kind of at this point, just sit up here. A lot of things are shooting up at you, but the chandelier gives you a decent amount of protection. And you sit here and start working them down. Now occasionally a rocket may make it through the crevice, but I'm actually having pretty good luck right now. And again, just keep firing. You'll finally get to the last phase where this, this, uh, this phase gets a little more tricky, just because... He's going to move around, and you're going to be kind of stuck. So depending on where he's at, you may or not be able to see him. So again, not a perfect situation, but his rockets are a bit crazy. But if you can manage it, you can get a lot of crit shots, and something like a triple tap scout rifle, ex machina with triple double is even more efficient. So now he's walking around again. So now I would take your time, try and find a few of the enemies that are tagging you, pick them off, going to give you a little extra point bonus. And at some point, I'm going to run out of ammo, actually. Ow. So, depending on where you're getting tagged from, just move around, be careful, shift your shift your angles. Now, got some health back up. Looks like I got a couple failings down here working me. A couple legionnaires. Now, the boss can be multiple places. Again, trying to get a grenade down just like that can be rough. Um, so, again, keep checking your backside depending on where enemies are at. If you see any guys that are just trying to tag you and you can get a shot on them, just do that so you have less things shooting at you. And then again, just keep trying to work the boss down from where you can. And as you can see, the auto pickup for ammo got me some sniper ammo, so I can work him a little bit from here. If you wouldn't keep moving, come on, buddy. There, got a couple shots to count. And again, he's pissed, so he's going to keep firing at you a lot. But if you can get that headshot on him, not a headshot, at least a shot. Man, I don't see anything down there. It's kind of insane. But you are fairly protected up here, which is nice. And again, if you can get that grenade down there, fry him a little bit. It's a nice little bonus. Sometimes you get it through the crevice, sometimes you don't. But again, this is what I would definitely call a cheese spot in the chandelier, without a doubt. Uh, you just need full agility to get up here. If you're having some issues, if you've got mid multi tool, that'll give you a little extra agility, which will kind of speed that process up as well. Now, up here, you run the risk. Like, when he's on the opposite side of the room, you saw me use rockets because I didn't have too much of a risk of shooting right in front of myself and killing myself. But if you're trying to shoot between these little crevices, I probably wouldn't go rockets just because it's a lot riskier and you made it this far. You don't want to blow your uh, blow your chance here. So, doing all right, though, at this point. Again, missed my grenade, so I just got to sit up here and chill out. 
And boss will shimmy back and forth. Nice thing about a warlock being up here, if you're with other people and you get multiple of you, you can res each other. Uh, it's sometimes a little hard to move around and have the space to shoot. Uh, sometimes you guys will take some shots and be in a little bit of pain, but in general, uh, it's a nice place to be just because I'm going to try and throw this grenade down. There we go. That'll help cook him down and should finish him off pretty quickly. And when he goes down, I should get a nice time bonus as well. I'm only going for about 52,000, I think, for gold. So I got 5,000 for him. I'm at 43. And then I got a 10-minute time bonus as well. So then if you can get out of your little chandelier here. So I did get gold tier. I already had the... Actually, I already had the uh, thing... But in the, darkness runs, the bounty taken care of, but I still did gold, get gold tier, so 60,000 for sure is going to clear it for you. Nice time bonus there. But that is the uh, cheese spot with the chandelier for you guys, so you can see that one. And pretty pretty smooth and easy. Um, yeah. Make sure I have my highest stuff equipped. Of course, still need boots on this guy because I just didn't get any... Didn't get much time to play Iron Banner, so... Let's take a look at what we got. Drum roll. And then there's that. I have plenty of those, but, you know, haven't bought them in a little while, so sure, why not? Three of coins and strange coins. Woo! But that is the uh, basically cheese method. You guys saw mostly taken in most of the rooms, actually. So it's kind of hit or miss if you're going to have that heavy box. Um, but using that heavy synth, um, you should have enough time to use that occasionally. Just try and space it out so every five minutes you uh, keep using it so you've got those rockets as much as possible. And yeah, that was pretty much mostly a full taken run, almost up to the last boss room, so you guys could see it that way. Pretty much different than my other run completely. So hope that one was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed that video, drop that like down below. And as always, if you uh, want to see that content keep coming, subscribe to that channel. And if you want those alerts when a new video is up, you can hit that little alert bell. And you guys will get those email notifications as well. So thank you for tuning in. Have a great one. I will see you guys soon. Talk to you later.